Welcome back War Robots fans, this is Cinco, and in this video I'm going to break down the top hangers in the game including bots, pilots, weapons, and titans. There have been some big changes since the last episode including the shotgun nerf and cross-platform matchmaking. I analyzed more than twice the hangers that I did for the last video, I'm really excited to share the results. Let's get to it. The Leech is no longer the top bot in the game. That honor instead goes to the Ao Jun with 41% of all bots. That's up 11% since the last episode. I attribute most of this to the shotgun nerf and the recession in the number of leeches. Most of the time when people use Ao Juns, they want sustained damage for as long as the special ability and that makes sense. Coming in at the number two spot is of course the Leech. It's down to 31% of the total bots in hangers which is down 25% since the last episode. Most of this is due to the shotgun nerf, some of which is due to people just preferring Aojuns, but it's a big, big reduction. The Leech is still a really strong bot with its four medium slots and high speed when you have the pilot, and you're able to do a lot of damage without taking a lot of damage due to the special ability. The number three spot goes to the Ravana. Now with 9% of the total bots in the top hangers and up 8% from the prior video. This is mainly due to the shotguns actually being pretty effective on Ravana. So if you had a bunch of shotguns in your hangar, you can put them on a Ravana, charge in, get really close, like inside 100 meters, and you still have a pretty effective bot, and then you could, of course, dash away after. Coming in at number four, we have the Phantom. I was surprised to see the Ravana ahead of the Phantom because it seems like in every game I play, there's a ton of Phantoms. I think this is really a bit low uh, in my data because top players take Phantoms out of their lineup when they're not playing Beacon games because they do a lot less DPS than some of the other bots with only one medium and two light weapon slots. Coming in at number five, we have the Nightingale, or as I like to think of it, the Annoying Gale. Most of the top players are playing in squad a lot of the time, so having a Nightingale to support and suppress and heal is a really great option for people playing in squad. You can also use it for beacon capping while it's under stealth for a pretty long time. I use a Nightingale in my hangar and I like it a lot. The rest of the bots in this list only account for 6% of the bots in the top hangars, which is actually down 2% since my last video. Most of these bots have very specific roles, including the Loki and Raven as beacon cappers and Falcon and Fenrir as tanks. The Hades, Mercury, and Tyr also have some specific niche roles. With the rise of the Aojun to the top bot, it's no surprise that there's more heavy weapons per hangar, fewer medium weapons per hangar, and, you know, almost double the light weapons per hangar, which was very few in the prior uh, meta, so having any kind of boost was really needed for the light weapon slots. Even though there are a lot fewer medium weapons in the top hangers, there's still a lot of damage to be done by medium weapons. It's no surprise after the shotgun nerf, the Storms and the Coronas are way down in their usage, with Coronas down 42% and Storms down about 8%. It's not really a surprise that the Cryos and the Igniters have really taken over the new meta for the medium weapon slots, and I was actually surprised to see that the Scourge was so highly ranked and the Pulsars were not even in the top list. With the Aojun takeover, it's really important to look at the heavy weapons and the Calamity, Glacier, and Avenger have all had pretty big upticks statistically and the Redeemer actually is way down. I was surprised by that because I have some Redeemers in my hangar, I really like them, and the Glory and the Viper also went down. The main reason for the Calamity and the Avenger being so high on the list is because their DPS over a sustained amount of time is really useful against Titans. For the light weapon class, we have the Rhyme, Spark, and Blaze at the top. The Rhyme is really at the top because it's a nice, short, burst DPS weapon and you can blink away with the Phantom pretty quickly and get out of danger and then be ready for another volley in a few seconds. The Spark and Blaze, on the other hand, are really meant to be damage over time weapons as people use the Phantom as a super tank using the healing modules as well as the pilot health perks really turning those phantoms into tanks. Not much has changed in the top pilot list since our last episode, but Yang Li really has become a game changer. 
He makes it easier to use Calamities, as well as being able to counter other Aojuns and Nightingales. The newcomer to this list is Virginia Walker. She's the new legendary pilot for the Nightingale, and she does make piloting the Nightingale a lot better. The Aojun pilots break down heavily in favor of Yang Li, and Lee Karenner is number two, and Adrian Tong is number three. It's not really a surprise to see Adrian in there, as people try to really maximize the damage they do to Titans with their Aojuns. When it comes to leech pilots, there's no real surprises. Thomas Mindread is way ahead of Adrian Chong. I do use Adrian Chong in my hangar as well as Thomas Mindread on two different leeches for two different purposes. Since the last Top Hanger episode, there has been a change to the distribution of Titans. The last video, Ao Ming's were dominant way over Arthur in terms of usage with 95-ish percent of all the Titans. There was really only one Arthur in all the hangers I checked and there were no kids at all. Not only did the distribution of Titans change, but the distribution of Titan weapons also changed. On Ao Ming's, however, 89% of the time, it's still the Dragoon variant of the weapons. Arthur's, on the other hand, had something really interesting. 46% of Arthur's have a hybrid setup with either Alpha Rockets and Beta Machine Guns, or Alpha Machine Guns and Beta Rockets. The reason this hybrid setup is so popular with Arthur's is because when people are going head to head Arthur to Arthur, they want to get an edge, so they use the rockets to get around the Arthur's shield. 38% of Arthurs are still running the machine guns and 100% of kids are running machine guns. That's primarily because, hey, if you're not going to spend on an Arthur and an Ao Ming, why would you spend on the weapons? Of course, you're going to use the machine guns. As for platform differences, there weren't really that many differences between iOS players and Android players. The biggest one I could see in terms of weapons was really that the light weapons are much more adopted by the Android players, almost twice as much. And it really looks like it's taking them directly from the medium weapons class. Another slight difference between iOS and Android players is that iOS seems to be much less tolerant of using a kid. Android seems to be spending less on Titans in terms of the bot, right? So you have a little bit more Ao Mings in iOS and a lot more Arthurs than kids. So to summarize this vi video, the meta is changing. There are more Ao Juns, Ravanas, Nightingales, and Phantoms in terms of bots. All these weapons, Calamities, Glaciers, Avengers, Cryos, Igniters, Scourge, Rhyme, Spark, and Blaze are definitely much more meta than they used to be. And definitely less in part of the meta are the Leech, Coronas, Storms, and Redeemers. Well, that wraps up this video. If you liked it, please consider liking and or subscribing. If you want to discuss any of this data, please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I see it. Thanks again for watching.